Welcome to our last lecture. So now that our website is online, we can still work on it, because the launch is not the end of the story. So as you hopefully remember, the seventh and last step of our plan is the site maintenance. This means that you should keep track of your website's success and monitor users' behavior. And how do we do that? We use a very powerful tool called Google Analytics. With this software, you'll be able to monitor statistics like the number of visits your website receives, the amount of time your visitors stay, the average number of page views for each visitor, and many, many other useful statistics. And then, using this data, you can make adjustments to the website in order to make it better and better. So I will now actually install Google Analytics on the website I just uploaded to show you how easy that is. So of course you need to start off by creating an account for Google Analytics, but that's easy if you already have a Google account. And once you have your Google Analytics account created, this is what comes up. So we now need to add a new website that we will track. So in my case, so it's a website, so in this case I will call this Omnifood and then we need the link to our website. And I can copy it from here. And now some industry, well this doesn't really matter, right? I will say computers because we created this in a web design course and then the zone I want is for Portugal, actually. That's where I live. So, And now we just hit Get Tracking ID. So now all we need to do, really, is to copy this script here and add it to our website. So it's a simple piece of JavaScript. So it goes down here. And we just paste it here and we don't have to do anything else. Now if you have a website with multiple pages then you need to paste this script in each of those pages, right? Okay, now I save this and I actually will also upload this. So this is what I showed you in a lecture before and as I told you this will only upload the files that were changed. So it now checks all the files, but it doesn't upload them. It will only upload this index.html file. All right. So let me just um, check if this worked. So I will see the page source. And down here is the code that we just placed it there. All right. So this is exactly what we wanted to do. Okay, and then you can actually visit your statistics. So this is what I told you, you can see all kind of statistics here. So just go explore uh, all of this. So the number of sessions, the number of users, the number of page views, the number of pages per session, and then how many times the user stayed on the web page, and the bounce rate, which is the amount of single page visits, which in our case, of course, will be quite high because we only have one page. But you know, all kinds of statistics are here, and down here are even more, where you can see where your visitors came from. For example, if they came from Facebook, or you can even see which country they came from here in all kinds of stuff. So again, this is a really powerful tool and you should definitely uh, take the most out of it. This is of course all empty by now because I just created this a few seconds ago. So this was a quick introduction to Google Analytics and how to set it up.
So now we have put all the seven steps from our seven step plan into action. This was quite a long journey, but we did it. You can now actually open the web page on the internet. It is exactly the website that we created together. And you are now able to do all of this completely on your own. And that is so amazing. I mean, what could even be more powerful, right? But now stay tuned for one more lecture where I have some additional information that you don't want to miss. So see you in the next lecture.